This video is brought to you by the Corsair Vengeance K70 and K95. These fully mechanical keyboards are designed for performance gaming. Visit Corsair.com slash Vengeance Gaming to learn more. Welcome to my follow-up on the Angelbird SSD to go. I promised I'd give my impressions of actually using the drive when we were at Computex. We needed something that was large enough for us to be able to store video data that we created while we were at the show. We needed something that was fast enough that we could realistically work off of the drive itself so we could easily move Premiere projects from computer to computer rather than waiting for file transfer onto local drive, make changes, then transfer back. We wanted like a copy that everyone could work on and everyone could sort of pass around and, and, and actually use. And then we wanted something that wasn't going to break. And that was where the Angelbird came in because, watch this, I would never even begin to consider doing that to a hard drive. Because it's SSD based, it is expensive, but it has a few other benefits. So there's that. There's also speed. So I did question their use of USB 3.0. Uh, type A connectors back when I did the original unboxing, but I found out why that was. So it doesn't benefit speed in any way. Uh, a, a, USB, a micro USB connector will do exactly the same sort of data transfer speeds as a full size connector. But what it does do is it improves the robustness of the drive. So I'm just going to show you guys a quick, whoop, yeah, oh, Windows 8. So we're going to do a quick speed test for you guys to show you that particular benefit. But like I said, that wasn't the reason why they chose that. Wow, 320, 330 megabytes per second, eh, around 300 is where we're hovering. So that wasn't the reason that they ended up choosing that particular approach. It was more to do with the robustness. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll probably already know I hate micro USB. I think it needs to die in a fire and it's not rugged enough for devices we use every day. If you bought a USB drive and it came with a micro connector on it, you'd probably throw it back at the clerk who sold it to you saying, well, what? It's gonna, you plug it in, it's gonna, it's gonna break off. So something like a storage device that you're expecting to use several times a day obviously needs to be validated for many plugs. Angelbird was able to validate the USB type A connector for 3000 plus plugs, whereas micro USB, even the most expensive connector they could find, they were only able to validate for around 350. So think about that when you're choosing an external drive. So anyway, our use case scenario, I thought we were gonna use the two separate drives. Remember, these are two separate drives inside, two separate USB controllers, two separate everythings. They're basically bolted together. I thought we were gonna use them for redundancy, but we ended up using them more for organization. So team A used the purple drive Drive and team B used the black drive. And because it's fast enough, we were able to use this as a working copy. So the angel bird could be kind of tossed around the room, passed from person to person. If you needed to work on a project rather than copying to the computer, working on it, copying back to the computer, that way everyone had the most up-to-date versions of whatever it was that we happened to be working on. The drive does run a little bit warm, but that's to be expected. So much like the HTC One versus Galaxy S4 conversation where the Galaxy S4 doesn't feel as hot in your hands and doesn't make your palms wet, but the processor throttles sometimes, whereas the HTC One feels warmer but is actually running cooler, that's the kind of situation you get with an aluminum construction like this. Now, other than that, the only real advantage that we found was just in terms of the ruggedness, being able to carry it around with us, transfer footage, being able to toss it back and forth, not having to worry about it breaking. Um, that that's pretty much it. So I think it comes down to the conversation of guys, do you think that SSD based external storage is at the point yet where you'd think about investing in it, bearing in mind it's much more expensive than mechanical based external storage, or is it still at the point where you look at it and you go, that's a very niche product, I'm not interested in that, even if it is fast enough to work off of directly attached to the computer and even if it is more rugged and robust, than a hard drive based solution. So thank you for checking out my follow up on the Angelbird SSD to go twin. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews and other computer videos. And I think we're pretty much done here.